2002 world leaders at the World Summit on Sustainable Development in Johannesburg decided that they wanted to learn a little bit more about what is the actual state of the marine environment. They made a call um, to the international community to make an assessment by 2014 of what is the actual state globally of the ocean's affairs. We went into a process whereby from 2002 to 2010 they started to decide how we needed to set up the institutional framework that would allow this type of assessment to take place. So far we have done seven workshops around the world. UNIP has been involved in six of them and we're utilizing the platforms of the Regional Seas Conventions and Action Plans because these are natural vehicles to provide support to member states uh, to do this type of assessment work. We're heading now into the final phase of this assessment. It's a five-year cycle. It started in 2010. We'll end in uh, June 2014. And the idea is that every region needs to contribute towards this assessment by submitting the data that is available at the national level. We're looking forward to continue to working with the Regional Seas Conventions and Action Plan. And we hope that the member states will feel supported through UNEP and the other technical agencies and uh, the UN Dualo Secretariat. And this process is going to set up the first internationally agreed guidelines or, or standards or benchmark into what is the state of the marine environment. So by 2015, we'll have a full report and we hope that this will continue every five years uh, because it's a regular process.